don't think anybody ever comes to work in the morning wanting to restrain or seclude a kid. Restraints and seclusions are not therapeutic. In fact, I'm always concerned that when students are involved in restraints and seclusions in our school, that they're experiencing a traumatic event. The last kid that you want to to use a restraint or a seclusion on is a student who's experienced trauma in their life. And those are the kids that are most likely to be restrained or secluded. If you're not spending a lot of time restraining, secluding kids, and instead spend your time alongside the kid, trying to understand the problem from their perspective and designing a solution, it's a much better use of your time. We are not breaking the budget trying to re reduce restraint and seclusion at all. It is actually helping. If a child is doing something that is very unsafe or potentially could be very unsafe, we obviously have to intervene. Um, but in the act of intervening and restraining or secluding, then injuries also occur. So. I mean, we're trying to prevent the child from being unsafe, but we're also doing something that is unsafe in order to prevent them. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the answer to that would be, other than to try and reduce restraint and seclusion as much as we possibly can. Now that my mindset has shifted, it's hard to, it's, it's really hard to think about approaching things with the way that we used to approach them. Um, at first, I will be honest, I um, did, I spent a lot of time, you know, looking back on past kids I had and wishing that I could go back and do things differently and wishing I had done things differently. Um, so I've had to, to learn to go easy on myself that I did the best that I could back then and now I know better, I'm doing better and I'm just gonna continue to learn and grow and so I give myself a little bit of grace there. I'm definitely proud of how, how far we've come, that it, this classroom, this program is running far more smoothly. Um, the kids are happier, they are performing better academically, socially, um, that even when they do have those escalations or those bumps, um, that they, they trust us. Um, they know that we're there to help them, that we're going to work with them.